Hey geeks, it's j -Law. And it's Kev. Leading up to the release of Marvel Studios' Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, we had an unbelievable chance to sit down for just a few minutes with the writer of the movie, Michael Waldron, and director Sam Raimi to ask them about the movie. Check it out. Well, uh, Michael, Sam, thank you so much for joining us here on Geek Centric today. Uh, we've only seen just a small snippet of the movie, but we are so excited to see the, the full picture and what you have in store for us. Um, and I think we should just jump right in from that early footage uh, that we were fortunate enough to see. Uh, it seems as though we're going to be diving deeper into an understanding of what the multiverse is, how it works, and how it affects these characters' lives. When developing the film, uh, Michael, how much of that was inspired by existing Marvel content like the comics versus how many of your own ideas were you able to include? Uh, it's always it's always a combination of of the two. I, I think that you you pick from the great multiverse stories out there. I, I think about uh, Jonathan Hickman's great run. You know, he, he's got a great multiverse run and everything. So, so you pick and choose because stuff from the comics is awesome. But I had also had some experience with the multiverse and Loki, and so I was trying to sort of continue that thread and and then also align with what John Watts and Chris McKenna and Eric Summers had done um and with the multiverse and Spider-Man No Way Home so so it's just a synthesis of the two awesome uh this question is for for Sam Raimi uh it it feels like this this film was always destined to feature more horror elements uh in it and I know when it was announced that that you the Sam Raimi would be helming this film uh fans rejoiced uh, as it was a bit of a confirmation that uh we would we would be getting those elements in this film now now after you know a few trailers and and having seen this the the opening of this of this film I was wondering how did you how did you find a way to uh, kind of fuse those genre tropes within the world of Doctor Strange? Well, I mean, it wasn't new to me to think about Doctor Strange and an element of horror. When Kevin announced that this was gonna be Marvel's first entry into that genre, I thought it was very fitting because in the reading the Doctor Strange comic books, unlike Batman and Superman and Spider-Man who faced the bad guy, Doctor Strange was always this larger than life character that was protecting earth and our universe from magical threats, demons, spirits. So there was always that element of spookiness. I wouldn't say a horror film, but mm -hmm. creepiness, fun, scariness in the comics. So I thought it was great that he was gonna bring that into the movie. So it's not something I had to even work on. Um, I just had to service it as the director. Micah would write me spooky sequences and um, I uh, was only too glad to, to comply and try and deliver the goods. Last question here. With all the craziness going on in the world, I know it can sometimes feel like, you know, we're in a multiverse of madness ourselves. Uh, we wanted to ask, outside of making a movie that it's probably so com complicated, um, what do you do to relax? Other than watch baseball, of course. He watches baseball yeah. and drinks. We'd get along really well, Michael. We really would. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and he reads comic books. And then I think he writes. That That's his basic existence. <laughs> <laughs> what else am I missing? I gamble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Occasionally, yeah, that's he does. What about you? What do you do? I have you a watch bunch. baseball. I do watch rain. Yes, I do. <laughs> I, I also play video games, though. So I'm a awesome. sucker for video games and still like reading and uh, mostly the garden, though. I think I spend time in the garden. But we gamble awesome. together some. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he gives me tips. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to join us here. Uh, we really appreciate it. It's an absolute honor to have a, the chance to just kind of talk to the creative minds behind this movie. Best of luck with uh, the rest of the day as, as the press conference continues. Thank, thank you. you. Go Blue Jays. Blue Jays. <laughs> All right, well, thanks. Well, that concludes the interviews. Now, if you want to hear more of us talking about all that juicy footage that we saw, plus our spoiler-free reaction because we're going to be checking out this movie very soon, you'll want to head over to the Geek-Centric Podcast, which is available wherever you listen to podcasts. But until then, as we say... Get home safe, guys. Peace.